I am so excited about this next project. I, like many other people, have been a victim of people stealing packages off your porch. So I've been racking my brain like, what do I do? What do I come up with? And I think I've come up with the perfect solution. So follow along and I'll show you guys what I built. First, starts with this sign right here, telling the delivery drivers that your packages go somewhere else and they go to this awesome bench over here that I built. Let's say the delivery guy comes with a package. Watch this. Two different compartments. You open it up. He puts the package in, closes it. It's now secure in there. Now when you get home, you have this fob right here. This is the secret right here. Boom, now it's open. Only be opened by you and your fob. Here it is, all secure. In case it's medicine or anything of value or just any package that you don't want stolen off your front porch. The secret is this locking mechanism here. And I've got this linked at the bottom in the description so you guys know exactly where to go to find it. Another secret is these pistons right here. I've got two of them that hold the door open and it's not locked so the driver knows to pick it up. So before we get started on this project, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. Basically, people that steal packages off porches, they drive by or they watch the delivery trucks and they see them sitting by the front door. What we're gonna to try to do is secure those, get rid of that visibility of the packages a lot of people have medicine, other packages delivered, and the worst thing you can do is get them stolen. Sometimes you can lose a package that might be worth enough for the cost of this bench alone. A lot of people might want to build this different. I understand. That's fine. But this is a very simple way to do it. It's strong, secure, and it's going to last many years. The great thing is you can paint it whatever colors you want. Maybe you have some paint on hand, or you can stain it. You can even put a backing on it, make it look more like a bench, or you don't even have to have cushions on it like I did, and just have it as a storage box. You can also build it as just one compartment, make it smaller, maybe it fits better on your porch that way. Okay, I know you guys don't wanna hear me talking the whole time, so let's go ahead, make a trip to the hardware store, and let's get started. I am so excited about this. I mean, the cost of this box, will probably pay for itself if you had one theft. So this is gonna be awesome. I'm glad you guys are along for the build. And uh, yeah, we'll get this done, you guys will love it. I got back from the hardware store and I looked at the cushions I bought. Now here's the thing, you might have to adjust the top and the whole width of the box based on your cushions. My cushions are only 20 inches wide. That means 40 inches total but the boards are 48 inches wide. So I'm gonna take off four inches, just four inches, shorten it up. You do what you need to do to make your box fit. If you can get a 22 inch, 24 inch wide cushions, you're gonna be just fine. So go ahead, I'm gonna let you guys watch me do this process. Here I am getting ready to trim the sides. Again, it all depends if you wanna put cushions on or not. If you do, um, you have to make the bench the size of your cushions. Uh, if you don't, go ahead and leave it at 48 inches wide. It's completely up to you. So go ahead, hold on to your scraps. We're going to use these later. So set them to the side. Okay, this is the side that we've got cut. What you're going to need to do is come in and measure three quarters of an inch and draw your line around three of the sides. The reason for that is we're going to mount our two by two inside there we're also going to mount two by two on the side this is a scrap piece i'm showing you we can make it flush look at that same with the sides and don't forget we are going to trim this out anyways so we're going to do that it's going to look good so right here what i'm doing is i can't tell you enough about how much you need to use glue on a lot of your woodworking projects. I'm going to put glue down. That's going to actually be my main adhesive there. And then I'm going to end up putting screws in and that holds it while the glue is setting. I will take clamps. Um, if you do plan on doing woodworking projects in the future, 
grab your grab yourself a set of clamps. They're really great. On this one, what I'm going to do is I'll clamp each end, uh, hold it down, and then I can flip it up and go ahead and insert the screws. These clamps right here, I just put like a medium pressure on, um, and I'm just going to put them on each end. Uh, normally, when you're woodworking, and you got uh, you just want to let the glue set. You're not going to use screws or anything. You'll put clamps up and down the board, but we only need them on these two right here. Once I got this clamp set, what I'm going to do is go ahead and flip it up. This is where the two and a half inch wood screws come in. Um, don't forget, when we're putting it into the side of the plywood, a lot of people, of course, don't like the look of, you know, screws on the side of the plywood. Don't worry, we're going to put trim pieces there. So it's okay right now that you see the heads of the screws on there. Again, don't worry. You won't see them once we put the trim in. You'll see that later. Uh, one thing I'm kind of embarrassed about was I am a big advocate of uh, pilot holes, uh, pre-drilling and stuff. And I didn't on this, so, but I've got good screws. That's a good piece of plywood right there that I got, three quarter inch, uh, sanded on both sides. So it held the screws good. Just gonna put a couple in, hold it, and that glue is gonna set up pretty quick. And then it's gonna make it really strong. Okay, got that uh, top piece in. Actually, it's not the top piece, that's the bottom. What we're gonna do here is we're putting the sides in. Remember, we leave a three quarter inch gap between these two by two boards that we're putting in and the edge of the plywood because when we put the sides and the bottoms on they're going to be flush and it's going to make your bench or your box look really snazzy um, if it does stick out a tiny tiny bit that's okay we can sand it later so don't worry about that um, i will go ahead and clamp this on the side right here That'll hold it again while I set the screws. Once this glue dries, you guys could actually remove the screws if you want. That's how strong glue is. It, that's what woodworkers use. All right, so don't worry about that. It's going to be good. Here I am putting the screws into the side pieces that I just glued and clamped, holding them together. Um, should use pilot holes, but guys, it's going to be great. Right? Okay, we've got the sides cut. This is exciting. They're all inset three quarters of an inch all the way around. Now we're going to put the bottoms and the sides on. We'll get them cut, ready to go. Here I am applying glue to the sides that I cut. Okay, that's going to go against those two by two supports right there. It's going to fit in there just perfect. Look, that offset that we did looks great. And you guys would be proud of me right here. Look at that. Who's drilling pilot holes? This guy is right here. So put those in, and then I'm going to set the screws. Remember, the strength is not in the screws. It's going to be in that glue. But this box is really going to be indestructible once we're done with it. Now we got the first side on. Now we're doing the second side again running the glue, putting that on there. And what we're gonna do is watch how it's gonna fit in there just perfect, really nice. Oh, look how flush that is. Don't worry if it sticks out a little bit. I've already mentioned this, I believe. You can sand it really nice on the side, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it twice on each side, get it just nice and perfect. I love working with this plywood, it's so nice but just a little bit of final minor adjustments. Now's the time to do it. Once you clamp it, it's gonna hold. Uh, don't worry about any glue that squeezes out. Just wipe it up right away when it comes out. That is very typical for it to happen. And uh, put those screws in. I've already drilled the pilot holes. Yes, I did do pilot holes, I promise. And that goes right in there. This box is coming along really nice. Um, still thinking about the colors I wanna use. I Went ahead to the store in a little bit and picked those out. Um, there's the two and a half inch screws right there. They're flush. Just go deep enough to where they're flush with it, and that'll be perfect. Okay, we've got the sides on. 
and I'm going to get ready to glue down the bottom here. And I am loving how this thing is turning out right now. Look at that. Okay, here's the bottom. See how we did. A little tight. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Look at this. Oh, loving it. Now we're going to pre-drill along these edges, put some screws in, and we got a box. Okay, now that middle compartment that I built, this are the pieces that I'm going to use for the sliders, okay? So these will go on, and again, I'm going to run a trim piece down the front of this board, and you won't see these screws, so don't worry. Now... I said use two and a half inch screws. These are two and five eighths. So you can see the little bit of the tip of the screw coming through. Big mistake. I hate that. Um, I always try to teach people, you know, uh, careful what you do and how you do it and all that wonderful stuff. And I didn't on this, but it's going to be the inside of the box. It's going to look great. Okay, here we are building the slider. Uh, putting little trim pieces on each side of the sliding piece that I cut to fit uh, as like little handles. Again, glue and just two screws on each side and there we go that way it has something to grip when it comes out Ta -da. perfect okay here i am cutting the top in half because those are going to be my two lids when you are putting your hinges on there's two hinges for each one make sure you pre-drill here I am also getting ready to put on the first of the trim boards. I use the trim boards on the sides as the legs also. Plenty strong, especially when you use glue. So here they go. I didn't use screws. I used little finishing nails. Now, a lot of you will wonder why I didn't use my air gun. The reason is not everybody has an air gun, and I want anybody and everybody to be able to do this. So put the glue on. I just use my finger to um, smooth it out, and then I just use a towel and dry it off. Um, it works just as fine. So I've used three little finishing nails on each one that I pre-hammered in. So when I get it up there, it goes right in like that. Just adjust as you go along, and that'll hold it. And again, look, it's covering the screws. Okay, I've got all the trim boards up. Uh, this thing is getting really close. So. I'm gonna put some caulking in on the grooves around the wood. I like that smooth look to it before I paint it. A lot of people, if you wanna stain it, go for it. Staining looks great. I want the two on this one, give it a good paint. So I've got two colors, give it a two-tone. I'm gonna to go ahead and caulk it. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how to install the device that makes this thing what it makes it, okay? So here we go. So, when I'm running caulking like that, I just put it right in the corner there, just a small little bead. It helps round out the uh, inside edges. Use your finger to smooth it out. Looks really nice when you do that. Make sure it dries all the way before you start painting. And uh, yeah, just get in there. Here I am sanding. Lots of sanding before you start painting. I love smooth surfaces. I'll also hit the corners just a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the first coat of paint on right here and guys get ready it's time to explain the device this is how we secure the box when the packages are delivered so the secret is the box is going to be uh, the lid sorry the lid the secret is the lid is going to be up a little bit so when the package is delivered you have access once the delivery driver lifts the lid and puts the package in he can close it and it closes all the way once it's closed, nobody else can open it but you. Delivery driver can't or anything like that. That's why we got two of these, okay? So the secret is this device right here, 
that I ordered off Amazon. And you can get this on the link below in the description. That way you don't have to go around searching for it. Click on the link, you can order this. I ordered two because I decided to go with two different compartments. If you decide to do one box or just one compartment, you can get one of these, okay? The other part is we have to hold the box up a little bit um, so that the delivery driver knows that this box is ready for a package. And that's with these little hydraulic stoppers right here, okay? These door closers. So I need two for each door. The door's a little bit on the heavy side. It's three quarter inch plywood. So we're gonna put two. I bought them and they came in a package of four. So two for each door. If you think you need to get more, get more and put three on there. Depends on how heavy your lid is. Uh, these are probably the most inexpensive part of this whole thing is these things right here. So these are what hold it up and the lid sits right here and then when you close it you just have to push it. You have another way you're more than welcome to use the templates if you need to. You're gonna get a package of screws. You're gonna get four long ones. You're gonna get two shorter ones, okay? This is for an alternate power source. We're gonna use batteries, okay? So don't worry about this right here. You can set this to the side. Here's the cool thing. You get two little fobs that come with it. And you get two cards. There's two cards in here. These are one, the first one you program with on this, when you program the box, is gonna be your master card. So make a little dot on it or put right on there a master card. So you can put these fobs on your keychain. So when you get home, you just reach over and you use this fob to open it. Or you can put this in your wallet and use a card to open it. Now, the cool thing about having two compartments, and I'll show you how we do this later, is you can have a his and a hers, okay? So you could label it his, hers, if you don't want each other messing with other people's packages. So when he comes home and he's like, oh, what did she get? Well, we don't know because it's locked and she has the only fob, so you can program it that way. I think that's a cool little thing. So what you're gonna pull out also is now the device itself it comes all wrapped up like this. This is the latch, this is the closer right here, okay? And this is most important. This is, has a sticky point. This will go on the door to show exactly where you rub the fob or the card across. First thing we want to do is let's go ahead and take this lid off. Four AAA batteries, it shows you exactly how to put those in. I say the first thing you do, just get those batteries in. And in that little package of screws that we got is a tiny, tiny little screw, and that's what holds the lid down. So, guess what? Batteries are in. So let's go ahead and put this door on so they don't come off. The tiniest little screw right here, set it inside there. Here's your screwdriver. There we go. First thing we want to do is take a card out or two. And we're going to program this. So on the card side, the first one you do, that's your master card, and then program the second one. Now it works. Now you can take that card, you just program the master card that's already programmed, then you ran it first, and we're going to put these fobs on there one at a time. Now it's open, you can hear it. Now you program the first fob, let it close, you'll hear it. There, that's locked. Take the master card again. Do the second fob. And now it'll be programmed. There we go. Boom, right there. So, now you don't have to use a card anymore, you take your fob. And it opens it every time. All right. It's programmed, it's that easy. Now it's installation time. Go ahead and follow along. We'll get this installed. So, what we're gonna do, I've got a little tiny drill hole right there. This is the perfect spot. Take this, put the screw through there.
right into our guide hole there, our pre-drilled guide hole. And get a few twists. But I didn't tighten it. See how loose it is right there? So that way, I can sit there, level this like that. Mark. There we go. Let's tighten the second, the first one right there. That is installed. Okay. What we're going to do, take that hole right there because this is going to go flat against the door. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Right there. That's installed. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, push the door down. Now, this is going to be hard to see on the camera, but I'm going to put that up against the door. And I'm going to mark around this where this goes installed. Once I mark it, then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, here's where I marked out the box, okay? When it was down on top of the latch, boom, just like that. You can see where I put the lines around the sides. These go in there really nice like that. Now, don't worry, they're not gonna pop through the lid. This is made for this size. Bam, I'm only gonna put one in. It's really strong. I'm gonna test it before I put the other screws in. Anybody that works with woodworking is gonna know, you always test first. Here we go. Success. Now watch this. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna put the rest of the screws in. Oh, this is exciting. Here we go. That's in. Last one. Oh, perfect. Watch this bad boy right here. Nobody's stealing mice packages. Doesn't get any better than that. All right, we're going to paint it, get it over by the front door, and we'll go from there. Okay, remember I already painted the inside of the trim boards and now I'm putting a light, light beige on the outside. I love the color. As soon as it dries, I'm gonna take it to the front door. I'll show you the final part of my video. And here it is, guys, the final product. Oh, I'm so happy. We've used it a couple times. Package deliveries delivered. Here's the sign if you guys need any ideas on what to do. These place packages inside. It's awesome. It looks good. Nobody would ever imagine that your deliveries are going to be safe in there. So anyways, leave a comment if you guys uh, have any questions or anything. I'm hoping it's a good video and you guys enjoy. Thanks so much.